everyone, welcome back. Uh, just on route to go and see some new friends that have got a Hyundai Ionic, loads of solar panels, and a power wall. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit green with envy, I suppose, with the power wall, but uh, it's a good opportunity to describe something that's been on my mind after seeing an American video by a guy, uh, Ben Sullins from Teslanomics. He was talking about his power wall and um, whether actually they cost justify or not. And through the conversation he was having about net energy metering, it made me start to think, well, do we have that in the UK and can we have that? And so I did some research and uh, yeah, this isn't me telling you what net energy metering is. Basically, I've done a little bit of research, I've Googled the term in the UK and seen that our energy companies don't do the same as what they do in America. And in the UK, the definition for net energy metering appears to be more relating to when they specifically account for the amount of solar export energy that you have, so they can count that separately. You know, at the moment where in the UK we have the feed-in tariff, so you have some solar panels on the roof, you get paid for what you generate, and you get paid an amount for what you export as well. And if you haven't got an export uh, meter on the house, on your panels, then they estimate how much you're going to export, and they pay you based on that estimate, or in some cases specifically for what you do export. So the net energy metering is where they do account for what you're exporting separately from what you're generating. That's my understanding of it anyway. Whereas in America, it seems slightly different. Ben was talking about um, utility products. So imagine if your utility provider providing your electricity offered you a product where they did account for your export, but rather than paying you money for what you exported, they gave you a credit, a credit for kilowatt hours. If they did that, then I, I sort of think that's the best solution because they don't have to generate any money, you don't have to have any um, payments go through, they don't need any staff, they don't need any meter readings. It's much, much simpler, it's completely automatic. Perhaps, perhaps you do need meter readings for the export, but perhaps it can be automatic on a particular type of meter. And in which case, if they're accumulating um, a credit for you of kilowatt hours, surely it's better for you to consume that credit because it's basically saving you the cost of electricity from the grid. Whereas when in the UK we sell it back to the energy providers, the energy companies, they only give us a fraction of the value of the units of electricity. So if we sell it back, we might get two, three, four, maybe five pence per kilowatt hour selling it back. Whereas if we consumed it and didn't have to pay for it, that could be 13 pence a kilowatt hour or you know, at a peak time potentially even more. So the benefit to you would be greater financially for having a credit. Equally, storing up a credit, you're less likely to move around with the utility providers. So the utility company may well like having a credit and keeping customers for longer. Um, because it might influence you not to have um, a home storage battery solution, you might think it's a more economical solution. You might be prepared to pay more for that product from the energy provider. It's your daily standing charge for that product. If they were able to give you credit for what you export, maybe that's worth paying a higher daily charge for. So why, why would you want to pay more money to have this product where you can have a credit? And my thought process is, if they're going to accumulate a credit for everything you export, it's like having an unlimited size storage battery for your home. So during the summer, you could export a thousand kilowatt hours and it would all be saved. It would all be in a infinite sized battery ready for the winter for you to reuse that energy and not have to pay for it. In which case, if you've got that scenario where everything you export is available for you to reuse without cost, surely that's a better way of using, consuming your exported kilowatt hours rather than storing them in a battery that might be five kilowatt hours in size or 10 or 15, much, much smaller. So you could run out every other day and not use anymore. Whereas with the infinite sized one, the grid, everything you export is basically in the grid and then you use it back from the grid. So surely that larger capacity of having a storage of your kilowatt hours is better. So my thought process is if utility companies in the UK offer net energy metering with that sort of credit facility like they do in the US, how will that affect um, the storage battery market? Will people want a storage battery in that case? Because from my point of view, what I'm seeing is I've got two reasons why I'd like a battery potentially. One is that 
that uh, I won't be paying for electricity. So overnight, the half a kilowatt hour, one kilowatt hour that I'm using will be um, provided for free from exported energy to the battery. But that would sort of be the same if I had this credit facility on a utility company. I'd still be consuming the electricity, I'd be consuming it from the grid, but it'd be for free from a credit that I've accumulated. So the difference is whether I'm happy using the grid. And I suppose to be really green, you're thinking it's nice to use your own electricity. So there's a, uh, a warm, fuzzy feeling of knowing you're using your own electricity that you've generated. And using the grid, you might feel a little bit dirtier. But over the coming years, the grid is probably going to become potentially greener than your um, micro-generation system at home, your own solar panels, because they'll be able to provide green, sustainable energy on a much larger scale. So there's two aspects to why you don't want the storage battery. There's the cost saving. Well, you'd get the same cost saving using um, a net energy metering utility product. And then there's also the fuzzy feeling about not wanting to use the grid. And well, is that just in your mind? Is using the grid a good thing or a bad thing? Um, providing the solar energy to the grid is a good thing, su supporting it. Having a storage battery did make sense to me that if everyone had a storage battery, the grid can make use of that. But so it's a distributed network of energy storage. But if they're not going to reimburse you very well for having that facility, all the cost is on you. And a home storage battery of between five and ten thousand pounds for a let's say five kilowatt hour to a ten, twelve kilowatt hour storage battery. The economics of buying a storage battery versus the benefit just don't add up. So I am now wondering if UK energy providers, utility companies, will provide such a product. And if they do, whether that will become really popular. Because, yeah, if Bulb offered it, I think I would go for it. I think I'd go for that product. Depending, obviously, on how much energy I actually export now, now that uh, I'm charging the car, heating my hot water. Uh, I've yet to see how much I'm going to be exporting over the next few months. What do you think? If you've got a battery, if you've got a Tesla Powerwall, a home storage battery, LG Chem or Mawixa, whatever the battery, how will you feel if um, energy companies start offering a, an infinite size storage battery for a credit of your exported energy? Would you want that? Would you have rather had that than a battery? Or are you happy with the expense that you've had on paying for that battery? Hopefully home storage batteries will become cheaper. Hopefully these sort of products from utility companies will come to fruition and we'll have a lot more choice about um, how to manage the energy in our homes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope those thoughts and that information was of use to you. And uh, as always, subscribe, come back, see some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.